News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update. And uh, let's just simply go to my nine panel charts out here that we can get this uh, in during this uh, little two-minute uh, period. So we're going to take a look at the ES Mini. And what we can see is this is trading. Uh, first, this generated a Gartley buy pattern. That Gartley buy pattern was confirmed on the trading day of September the uh, 22nd out there. So you've got a valid bottoming pattern. At a level of support that was it's a weekly uh, t uh, weekly uh, TAS market profile level of 43.12. Now price is trading with inside a da bullish structure daily profile. As long as price can hold, and that means stay above, close above 44.0760, the ES Mini has the is signaling to us that it may want to make that run to the 44.83 level. What happens if price closes below 44.07? Well, that would signal to us price may want to get back and retest that weekly level of support at 43.12. Watch 44.07. The spot volatilics is the next important chart out here. That's the center panel. And you can see that price is trading above its 50-day exponential moving average. The 50-day is at 1870, price right now at 2035. That's always a bearish directional signal for the S&P 500. But if price is below 1870, closes below that, that would be a bullish message and suggest that ES Mini would target 44.83. The NQ right now, it, it uh, tested the bottom of its weekly profile this week, generated the same type of Gartley buy pattern. But what price did was it formed a new profile, which was above price at that time. That is an overhead supply and counter trend rallies would end at the center. And that's what's happened so far. 15 332. If price closes below 15,257, it suggests at least a move to 15,102 and below that 14,802. The U.S. dollar index, this generated a sell the D point yesterday, big old bearish engulfing candle. Although not shown here, all price did was pull back and test its oscillator and change line. So really we have a neutral signal uh, out here for the U.S. dollar. Gold, uh, yesterday pulling back and testing a key level of support. That was a trading day from uh, September 20th, that was a key reversal bar. That says the low of 1742.30 is really key. A close below that suggests lower price. Uh, the uh, silver contract uh, doesn't really have a bottoming signal out here just yet. If it did generate a bullish reversal candle today, that would signal the bottom. And uh, light sweet true. Looks like it wants to target the 7616 level out here. You can see the uh, consolidation in the 30-year uh, treasury. Folks, stay tuned. Uh, 9 o'clock, uh, we've got Tommy O'Brien uh, coming up and uh, great programming during the day. Thanks so much for joining us. Stay tuned for great programming here, and I'll see you on Monday at 1 o'clock, normal time for the Trader's Ed Show. Take care, folks.